another great question. A uh, salesperson sent in uh, a voicemail uh, after a call we had uh, last week. And in our personal coaching time, you know, one of the things we were able to isolate is the process to engage people was great. The uh, booking appointments was great, but the closing rate was suffering. And through that, we discovered that a lot of it had to do with just some things going on in the, the salesperson's life that was creating, you know, this emotional havoc and long or the short just wasn't being very the energy that they were bringing to the conversations they were having with their clients just wasn't very high wasn't very positive it wasn't very um, enthusiastic it wasn't encouraging and so later on they just sort of sent me a, a you know voicemail saying well how do you stay positive positive?" and so I thought you know in this season that we're in with Christmas and the holidays, it's, it's a lot of stress on a lot of people, uh, you know, in business, it's just, you know, it is what it is as far as you got to mitigate and you got to manage, you know, business pressure. Sometimes that's what it is to be in business, uh, independent salespeople, business owners, you know, we all we're human. So we feel right. If you don't feel you're a psychopath or something wrong, how do you stay positive? Well, I go back to scripture, you know, hope deferred causes the heart to grow sick, right? And so when we're feeling stressed, when we're feeling angry, when we're feeling, uh, feeling fearful, uh, it's because hope has been deferred. So we're worried about, we're fretful for, and we fear, you know, this is going to happen or this is going to happen or something bad is going to happen or this is going to happen. And all of that toxicity, all of that emotion culminates into our psyche and then it just sort of leaks out of us and we become angry we become short with people we don't we become less forgiving less patient and so it's tough i get it i'm a person as well so i have to know a little bit about myself just like you would have to know about yourself so when i feel myself wanting to get into that space the first thing i have to do is take every captive every thought captive and understand if I know hope causes the heart to grow sick, then I got to be very intentional. Well, then what is it that I'm looking for that I can be hopeful for? And I don't mean to be so pragmatic here, but I'm going to be uh, or deductive. One of the great things about having a great system in your business that will have a calendar full of appointments and a lot of people to talk to is that gives you justifiable, justifiable reason and rationale to be hopeful. Because as long as I've got qualified people in front of me to talk, then I've got something to hope for as a business person. And so that's what I was telling this person here. You know, you've got to start looking at every conversation as an opportunity to better your life and better other people's life. So you're putting your hope into, you know, you've, you've, basically fixed 90% of most businesses problems. And that is not having enough people that need, won't desire and can afford what it is you offer. So we've got you to this point. Now you need to be positive and feel hopeful because, Hey, I've got opportunity here and, and I don't have to worry about, Oh my gosh, if I don't sell this person, the world's going to come to an end. You know, one of the things I love about my calendar right here is I got a calendar book and I do a lot of things to discourage people to be on that calendar. And so if they stay on that calendar and they're committed for that appointment, that means that is a high quality lead, which means even if I've had this stress over here, the stress over here, the stress over here. I've got something to look forward to. I've got something that I'm putting my hope in that I am either going to sell something or I'm going to create a relationship that is going to bring value for me and that person now or later on down the road. Either way, I'm going to be able to have a positive experience in this next conversation. But you cannot, just from a practical business standpoint, business people and salespeople specifically, they get all amped up because oh, where's my next sale coming from? Where, where's my next piece of business coming from? How am I going to, you know, make this week's payroll? How am I going to pay the bills in, in the business? And all of that stuff can really start to back up on you if you don't have something. Okay, here, here's a way 
I've got 10, 10 appointments today and they're all high quality and the value of each appointment based on what we're looking at. My, so I could make anywhere from here to here. So now I've got something to hope for. I got something to plan for. I got something to, to strategize for, and I got something to do. So if you will sort of, uh, shift your mindset into looking for those things that I can put my hope in, you are going to find a way to stay positive. 